YouTubers. I tested the brakes. They work great. So cleaning them, taking them apart, and cleaning, giving them a good cleaning really made the difference. Yep. Happy it stopped now. So I think people that have problems with their doodle bug brakes just don't have them adjusted properly for one, and for two, they're probably dirty. Taking them apart and cleaning them up and oiling the inside of the mechanism carefully and then cleaning the pads really good really made all the difference in the world. Well, that's a quick update on the mini bike. Next work I gotta do it will be during the winter. I gotta take the both fenders front and back off, straighten them out, smooth them out with a bondo and prime them and decide what color to paint them. But I think I'm gonna paint them the same green with a black stripe down the middle I think but the fenders never really got finished I just put a quick paint job on them so I'd be done with them because I couldn't make up my mind before what color to paint the fenders I like the green but there's a lot of green so maybe a posi stripe down the middle will work good maybe it'll look good just a little shot of this side of the bike I had to Tighten the chain adjuster. The chain finally stretched out a little bit. So I don't use it that much. So it's finally, the chain's finally getting broken in. And probably the engine too. That's about it, folks, for this mini bike update. Peace out. God bless you all. And stay on the straight and narrow. Cheers. Hey, tubers. Just a quick reminder for you all. For God so loved the world that he gave his only son so that everyone who believes in him will not perish but have eternal life. That is, so that everyone who believes in him, not who do good things, but all you gotta do is believe in Jesus Christ and take him into your heart. God did not send his son into the world to condemn it, but to save it. And it's just me reminding you, for God so loved the world that he gave his only son so that everyone who believes in him will not perish but have eternal life. And you know what that means to everyone who believes in him? That they believe that God sent Jesus down to be sacrificed for our sins. And then to believe, also is what I believe, is that to believe that Jesus was raised from the cross. And when God did that, he showed his amazing power. That he could raise someone from the dead. As Jesus was raised from the dead, we are raised from our former selves when we are baptized. There is no judgment awaiting those who trust him, but those who do not trust him have already been judged for not believing in the only Son of God. The judgment is based on this fact, that the light from heaven came into the world, but they love the darkness more than the light, for their actions were evil. They hate the light because they want to sin in the darkness. They stay away from the light for their fear, for fear their sins will be exposed and they will never and they will be punished. But those who do what is right come to the light gladly, so everyone can see that they are doing what God wants. So the people that come to the light are showing that they're doing what God wants. The ones who hide in the darkness are sinning, and they don't want anyone to know they're sinning. They're hiding it. People always hide their sin. And that's the little, little uh, quick information for you all. And, uh, hopefully it, someone listens and it saves them. God bless you all. Peace out, my peeps, and I love you all. God bless.